Hello, today we're looking at Lumina Desktop 1.3.0. It was released on the 26th of June 2017 and it looks so good. If you looked at my, if you looked at Lumina in the past, they've done so many updates in this release and it looks beautiful. There's many ways of installing Lumina. But I've just went with Ubuntu and I installed it. You can find in the description of this video a link to the official site where they show how to install Lumina on nearly any, any Linux based and free BSD operating system, which is awesome. So here is the basically the feed, the RS feed, RS feed, feed, and RSS feed, sorry, <laughs> and here you can add more feeds, if you want to, you can remove it, or you can click here and take that to the official website, it's quite cool that they call it something by default which many operating systems don't really have, as you can see they got their own theme, it's quite cool, and here is the better talking about on how to install Lumina. As you can see, there's a lot of information on many different operating systems. So, if we now go to our bottom panel, you saw power settings, calendar is nice. If you click on the panel, nothing happens. And you, it's difficult to see, but here's a menu button. It's a bit very, very, very valid. Huh? You just have to go find it, but it's quite nice. As you can see, if you tap in here the folder, you can type and search. It's quite cool. You see, basically, no, no, no RAM. It's so cool. It's a very light, very, very light operating system. Desktop environment, I mean. If you know, go back here, you can look at all the options. You can just click on any of these and you will open up the file system, which is quite a cool and unique file system. I like it. It looks geeky, but still very usable. And you can push the file same same place, and you can push applications. As you can see it's nicely laid out, and of course preferences. Yeah, you can configure desktop. As you can see, it's quite a lot of options. Uh, if you want to have a proper look at all of these, please look in, the, in my in my other video. Where I click on everything, but here it's just theme, so it's just like basic fix. I made the other video also where I just show the click on everything with background music and I just run for every single thing. This is more a general overlook, and yes, yeah, you can see it's pretty neat, neat operating system. Leaf. It's not perfect yet, it's so, so much better than the boss machine. And that's the lock screen. Of course you can click here and will also open up your file system. And this little strap here, lots of hidden features. Is your favorites and here's your places. If you Right click on your desktop, you can open it a terminal. You can see you can customize it and make it look beautiful. Bruce files, browse files, see it's your menu again. Looks very beautiful, looks very nicely organized. And here you can see your wallpaper, screen saver. They only have one wallpaper available, but you can choose any picture you want. You just 
Какие интересные. So basically, yeah, that's basically Numina 1.3, I think it's a, it's an absolute upgrade from the past and super light, super easy to use, very clean and definitely, and I mean definitely, worth looking at. Thank you for watching, goodbye and see you later.